Welcome to the Third Party Transformer News for Retro Robot Radio for the date of October 3rd, 2015. Alright, we got a lot of uh, uh, images to look over this week because uh, the China International Comic Book Festival Expo for 2015 occurred and there was a lot of uh, dis- figures on display. Uh, first one here we have is a look at the uh, version of Sunstreaker being made by Bad Cube, which is getting final closer to final colors. You can see here it has a bit of chrome on it and a real good final paint job. So this is looking real nice if you guys are looking for a Masterpiece Sunstreaker. Belzy Boss uh, had on display a uh, it's a add-on for the Generations Deluxe Trailbreaker that gives it the, I think it's called the Honor Shield set. It's a pair of hands, a uh, new head, and some little force fields on a stand that the figure can be projecting. Belzy Boss also showed off their upcoming upgrade set for the Combiner Wars Optimus Prime. This uh, set basically replaces a lot of the parts in the figure, expanding him, making him larger, giving him more IDW look in his robot mode. I'm told you have to basically take the figure apart and piece in all the extra bits and bobs uh, to assemble it when you get it, but then once it's put together, it will transform without having to be parts formed or something like that, so that's good. And here you can see him in alternate mode. And this little teaser from Belzy Boss, they also posted this image, which kind of hints that they might be doing a Thunder Clash for the Battle Core Optimus Prime. Dr. Wu showed off images of their upcoming upgrade for the uh, for Hook from the Combiner Wars line. This basically gives it a massively extending uh, uh, crane boom arm. So if you want to have... Uh, Hook be able to get it up. This is the set for you. Uh, here you can see it compared to the original. Looks a lot like it. I threw this one in because I thought it was pretty neat. A company called uh, Enlighten, who is a Chinese brick company, makes Legos. Usually it makes sets that are copycats of Legos and stuff like that. Came up with its own little uh, thing. We just saw this recently. It's their version of Devastator. Uh, I'm not sure if there's individual robot modes or what. But, uh, yeah, they did a pretty good job making a, uh, a Lego Devastator kit. Uh, if I get any information about where this is available, I might put the links in the show or mention it in a future show. New company called uh, Gand of Devils uh, had a couple of reveals at that uh, Chinese uh, festival. One of them was this guy called uh, Thunderstorm, which is basically a leader class. Uh, Thunder uh, Wing that uh, has several modes. It has a robot mode that looks more like the IDW, a robot mode that looks more like uh, G1, and this vehicle mode that really reminds me of uh, Energon Megatron. And here you can see a little more detail on the figure. They said this is about uh, 9 inches tall. So that's a pretty good sized figure. Also, Garatron's releasing a couple of uh, non-transforming combined modes. They have a uh, version of Predaking that's uh, posable, and then also a version of Defensor. It was called, uh, yeah, so called Protector. So those are interesting to people who like that sort of thing and uh, cartoon accurate non-transforming combiners. Generation Toy revealed this little extra add-on set for their upcoming Devastator. <laughs> this is a Megatron that uh, is small, maybe about Scout class size, and the combined form can use it as a gun. Just announced at uh, yesterday on a podcast was this uh, add-on set for Voyager Optimus Prime made by Master Shooter Collectibles. It's a uh, guys named High Q and High Fire, which are basically Genry uh, and God Gen- Fire Guts. Uh, which will be available at TFCon in USA 2015. 
They're limited to 50, 51 pieces and cost about $30 each. Here you can see a little bit of the concept art for uh, High Fire. Um, they, were, they were looking at different colors for him. Planet X uh, pleased a lot of uh, geeks this week with their reveal of a prototype for their upcoming Paddles figure. This is a heavy remold of their Neptune. Not sure if they're going with the name Paddles or they'll try something uh, more in line with the other figures they've made. But uh, yeah, here he is. This is the Plesiosaur. And here's the robot mode. Also, they are working on their own version of Grimlock to replace the Hasbro Voyager Grimlock for people who are just done with that figure for being small and hollow. It's looking pretty good. Planet X also showed off some artwork for their upcoming uh, Guardian-inspired repaint of their Omega Supreme from Fall of Cybertron. And here you can see his final uh, toy image, so it should be coming out soon. New company called SND also released a upgrade kit uh, teaser for the Combiner Wars Optimus Prime. This figure is basically, basically also does the same thing that the Beelzeboss one does. The art style on it is a bit different. You can see it in the alternate mode. All the colored bits are the new parts that will be added to it. And this is what the two figures look like compared to each other. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing actually in common between them, but they both kind of go for the same direction as for what to do with the Combiner Wars Optimus Prime. Basically lengthen the legs, give it a better chest and head. So, you know, and the interesting thing about this is they also tease that there'll be an Ultra Magnus version out for the Battlecore Optimus Prime. I am very interested in this version, particularly if the combined mode uses the uh, Super Robot head for Ultra Magnus. And there will be a uh, Sentinel Prime here, whatever this is. Oh, that's Nova Prime, yeah. There will be a Nova Prime version called Primo X Mortis. I think that would be first uh, of the undead. <laughs> uh, TFC Toys showed off the color final versions of their uh, versions of Ironhide called Iron Will and their version of uh, Hound and Ratchet. So it looks like these three figures will be coming out real soon. Also TFC Toys showed off some prototype images of their upcoming uh, Leo Kaiser inspired combiner. Looks like we've seen pieces of at least four of the members and they show a little uh, image here of the combined mode using the same arm twice, Hellbat and the same leg twice, uh, Kill Bison. Here's their version of Leo Zack as a prototype and that's uh, Jaguar as a prototype. I'm curious what his alternate mode will look like. I wasn't sure if they'll be going with that or not. Uh, and then here are color final versions of the versions of Kill Bison and Hellbat. So they're looking very close to release. Also, very exciting is that TFC Toys announced uh, pro or gave us prototypes of their versions of Sea Wing and Overbite here. Uh, I think this was being misreported as their version of Skolor, but to me it looks like Overbite because it has uh, his hands, his mouth. And yeah, it's basically it's Overbite. Shark, not the uh, fish. Toy World showed off a little render here of their upcoming Devastator-inspired combiner. And here's the first of their figures. Uh, looks like it's going to be their version of Bone Crusher, who is the uh, left arm. It'll have some parts in common with uh, Scavenger, it looks like, so that'll be an easy way to get the second figure out a little faster. Here you can see you actually are throwing in the drill uh, bits that uh, came on G1 uh, Devastator that I always thought were cool, and no one seems to even think to put them in their uh, Devastator homage lately. Also, Toy World showed off what appears to be a glyph-colored version of their B figure, and a G2 uh, Bumblebee-colored version of their B figure. Transformation, uh started to tease their auto samurai set that will be coming out soon and here are two of their members looks like this is their versions of uh, I'm not sure if that's uh, dead end and uh, uh, 
breakdown or which figures that are, but you know, it's a start. We'll find out more about them later. I've posted several new videos on the YouTube channel since our last episode. A running cycle of the Play With His 2 Jet Strike action figure went up. My episode of the Kickstarter action figure report for September 25th was posted. And also a quick uh, video demoing the tread action on the Toy World Constructicon figures. So you might want to check those out. We had some feedback from our last episode. Orabes writes, once again another stellar show, Matthew. I'm really looking I'm really loving this new Kickstarter port. It's a great way to get information out to on a lot of good lines that will most likely not get a spotlight. Same as you're doing with third party companies. I don't think th these people realize what a valued asset your shows are to the indie toy design market on a side note beyond Transformers. What else do you collect as far as figure line goes? Well, I collect the occasional six inch figure. Uh, also, I've uh, collected Micronauts, Games Workshop, and Legos over the years. Alright, Smokescreen writes, that add-on for Lee or Magnus, will it be able to transform with the parts added on? Uh, I obviously, I don't know for sure, obviously, because I don't have it, but I've heard it does. The Old Cut 78 writes, any word on the Maki Toys Optimus Prime repaint of Nova Prime? Uh, and, of course, if he means the uh, Gen 2 figure, there's a rumor that he may be out in a month or so. Stormwriter X writes, how do people feel about purchasing fans to toys Quake Wave and Cloud9 Quake Blast after seeing Takara's MP Shockwave? I'm on the fence, uh, and he says he will always purchase a Takara MP over third party, but this may be the first time it goes the other way. He says transformation quality and aesthetics are going to be the deciding factors. So, what do you guys think? Personally, I do like the accessories and the optional hand that we've seen for the Masterpiece Shockwave. But, uh, you know, which one's going to win my vote is the one that has electronic lights and sound when you pull the trigger. And I don't think any of the figures we know do that yet. So, if any of them do, that'd be my thing. Rabbits272 writes, Another great show, Matthew. What are your thoughts on Takara MP Shockwave, and do you think it's a match for Quake Wave? Well, again, I'm looking for the, uh, I'm looking for the electronics. And he writes, kind of wish Hasbro or Takara would make MP Coneheads. I'd buy them right away. As always, keep up the good work. All right, yep. So, uh, just so you know, there is a company called Toy Mecha out there who announced some MP-sized uh, rear guard Coneheads, dirge thruster ramjet, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they said that they'd probably be out in January, and I think they were asking about 120 each for them. So that might be something you want to look at there, Cyber Rabbits 272. This week's screen capture is of Super Dennis from a 1975 JCPenney's Jeans commercial. This week's news brought to you from the pages of tformers.com and TFW2005, news read by Matthew Ignash, stop by wikialpha.org to read more about third-party Transformers, Check out the Facebook page of the Third Party TF Crashers, and then come on by the Retro Robot Radio YouTube channel and subscribe.